as you probably know, people here can be really, really mean. And I mean, that's something that you're, that I'm prepared for, that someone that is going to talk to people that they don't know, especially on YouTube, that's something that, that you know and that you prepare yourself for. But uh, even with that knowledge, sometimes it gets really irritating. And then you start to think to yourself, um, maybe I need to, you know, like have the DTR talk, the, the defining the relationship talk, which is such a chick thing to say. But, um, relationship talk. <clears throat> Melissa Jenna is one of my favorite YouTubers. I first became aware of her when I was submitting questions, as was she, for the CNN YouTube Democratic debate. She was fortunate enough to be flown to South Carolina and featured on Anderson Cooper's 360 show. But since then, for a time, and perhaps still, Melissa has received comments and some rather frightening developments because she dared become a video blogger on YouTube and make her opinions known essentially to the world. Now, she made a video she called Defining the Relationship. I'm going a step further and I'm calling out a YouTube user by the name of Joshua Haskell Carr who dared send me a death wish threat through my YouTube email. I blocked this person and I reported this person to YouTube and I'm saying to anyone watching who even think to send such an email to me, don't. I will report you to YouTube, I will move heaven and earth to have you banned and I will report you to the FBI and I pray to God that YouTube and the Federal Bureau of Investigation finds you through your IP address and arrests you. Let me tell you something. It's okay for us to have different points of view on a topic, but it's not okay to do what some of you have done. By my count, approximately 23% of you on controversial videos like, for example, the Six Flags video. You respond with a racist comment, or worse, a death threat. Only one. It's not necessary. It's not good. It's simply not human. How would you like it if someone treated you that way? You wouldn't. It's not even a matter of, of discussing how you would like it, because you know you wouldn't like that. You're not going to silence me or Melissa or any other YouTubers or YouTube partners in this system. You're not going to do it. But I can say this, when you come to my house, and that's what this channel is for the purposes of video blogging, my house, the rules are these. I love it if you disagree with me, but please do so agreeably. Avoid curse words, avoid calling me names, because when I respond back, I don't call you names. Notice that. I love it when you come to the table with a strong argument that proves that you've done your homework and you know what you're talking about. You can make it a short comment or a long one. That's not the issue. But please, bring something to the table. Additionally, remember that all of us here are human. That treatment goes not only for me, but for other commenters. Don't threaten them as well. And furthermore, one of the commenters on my Viacom video suggested that people go to Judge Lewis Stanton's office and home and harass him. Don't do that. Do not take that kind of idea and advance it toward a sitting United States District Court judge. Send an email respectfully to his clerk or to him or a letter respectfully, but do not harass that person. Don't harass anyone. Don't get it in your mind. Don't do it. I, in closing, I will say this. I miss the arguments I had with Ron Paul supporters. I'm an Obama supporter, but the one thing I loved about the vast majority of Ron Paul supporters is they brought an argument to the table. They were seldom nasty. They talked about how much they hated the Council of Foreign Relations or the idea of a new world order. Fine. We can debate those issues, but I love the fact that they came with their A-game, more often than not, and you can do the same. Thank you. Oh, I forgot. Melissa, I'm going to join the YouTube uh, Partners Network as well, but uh, I'm not at odds with 
YouTube um, masters, if you will, and mistresses, uh, they've been very good to me. I think that we can establish a more reasoned approach than just going on strike, because ultimately, if you think about it, the strike hurts us, all right? Okay.